hello and welcome to this lecture this will be the first lecture on the data structures so in this lecture we are going to cover about the list the most used data structure in the python so first of all what is list so first of all let's come with the variable so when i just say variable you have to store only one element to the variable so you cannot store something like var saying three store me four five six six uh, this should not be valid in the variable you can store only one data item to the variable but if you want to store multiple item to the same variable it is to be done with the data structures it can be the dictionary it can be the list it can be the tuple so let's see about the list in this lecture so let me just say my list and i'll say this empty square bracket so when i just save this and if you want to print it will just print you the my list and it is your empty list so let me just press f5 to show you over here and if i say my list and assign as empty square bracket over there then you'll see that you'll just have the my list as empty so you are just creating here the empty list so let's assign some of the integers over here so i'll just say my list and uh, let's see one two three so now you can see we have assigned multiple data item to the same variable name which is basically the data structures which is the list so we have created the list of numbers from one to three you can also make a list with the mixed data types so we have learned from the previous couple of lectures we have the couple of types the basic fundamental data types in a python that is first is integer obviously the one integer and next one is decimal and the next one is a string and next one is your boolean so let's close this first and after this let's add the boolean and it is also valid if you just print your list you'll see this is going to create us a simple list containing all of the mixed data types over here having an integer float string and the boolean so we have created the list over here the first list which is going to get all of the data items stored in it so you can also have the nested list so let me just take example my list and let me say it is going to have here first and after that the another list after that the more another list okay after that the another list again so you can see we have created a list which contains the nested list which have more than one list so it have one list over here then of the list over here so this is the nested list so let's see how we can assess the element from the list you can see we have created our list over here which is the mixed list and over here we have created our my list so let me just copy this and paste it here and now we have the my list containing a mixed uh, data type so let's assess some of these items from this list so in order to assess the element you have to go through the index so what is index here so index can be assigned with this uh, square bracket again so in the list the first item is at index 0 so this is the position which we call 0 next one will be 1 2 and 3 incremented each time by 1 so if you just call this as one this should be two and this should be three and always remember the list index start from zero not the one this is not one it starts from o so if i say my list o then it is going to give us one and if i say my list and this time one okay one then it is going to give us the second element of the list but the index having one so this is the way to just assess the list if you want to have this to be printed you can do in the two ways i'll say my list first way is to count from zero one two three it should be as three another way is to have the negative indexing 
so this is important negative indexing is from the minus one if you want to print this true it should be at minus one and you have to just decrement again it should be minus one it should be minus two it should be minus three and minus four if i want this one it should be minus four which is called the negative indexing over here so we have got one which is at the position of minus four which is our negative indexing so next thing is to slice the list now slice is to get part of the list we want to get the multiple element of a list is a slice so same as the pizza slice we want to get some part of the list so in order to get some part of list let me create big list for now so instead of this this list let me just clear and open the new console and now let me just create now big list over here so this will contain the basically okay i'll just say one two three so the random elements over here so let's close this list we have created the list so now what if we want to do is we want to have the element from this maybe from three to maybe 66 we want every element from this 3 to 66 so let's see how we can just get that and this technique is called slicing technique so first of all we have to go through the index again so 1 is at 0 1 2 is at 1 and 3 is at position 2 but uh, position 3 but index is 2 so we'll just go from 2 because we want to include 3 and we have to give the colon and we want to reach at 66 so this is as 2 3 4 and 66 is 5 so if you just pass 5 here this is the explicit position so this is not included if you want to include this fifth position you have to pass 6 because this position is going to be ignored so six, sixth position here or the sixth index is at 7 and this is not included only up to here is to be included so if i hit enter it will show us 3 4 5 66 7 is not included though it has the index of 6 but this is the ignorable position or this is not an included position if you just pass my list and from 2 to 5 again which is the position of 66 index it will just give us 345 but not 66 this is the ignorable position and now you can also do something from the um, beginning to maybe from here beginning to 5 if you want from beginning to 5 we can do something like leave the first position if you leave first position it will just defaultly start from the first index and just count from there zero one two three four we want two five that means we have to include this fifth and let's close this so it is giving us one two three four five so the next thing is the step position so let's see the step position so i'll just say my list and the first one is default this the second one is also default if you pass third one so this third one is basically this step so step is the loop or basically what is to be included if i pass two over here it is going to leave one step in each of the elements so you can see if you just pass two over here this one was printed but instead of printing two it has directly jumped to three it has left out 4 it has left out 66 so one step has been not included in the output list if i say something like my list again go from beginning if you don't pass anything it will go from beginning and again if you don't pass anything over here it will just go till the end and if i say 3 over here and if i print now again it is going to remove the two element so step has been three here that means it is going to remove the two element from each of this part 
so you can see 1472 has been printed with this slicing technique now let's see some of the important methods of the list so first of all i'll make the odd element over here one three five seven so now if we want to append or add another element we can make use of this append method of the list and i'll say the next would be nine and now if i print odd you would see now one three five seven nine nine has been appended to this odd list so you can do similarly let me say if you want to add multiple element so in the case of append you can add only one element but if you want to add multiple element you can simply do extend 11 13 15 and now okay what we have just done here was we have to extend with the list so we have just made a small mistake over here because this should be iterable it has shown right over here and we haven't passed in the list so i'll say 11 13 and again 15 close the list close the method and if you just print or now it has been extended so 13579 was the initial odd now 11 13 15 was added from this extend method of this python list so you can also do something like insert let's go back again again print this and if i just say odd is one in nine and now if you want to insert the element you can simply do insert and now if i say one and uh, three okay what we just did over here was we wanted to add this third element in the first position so this insert method will take the position where you want to insert or basically the index so index is basically the one that means we want to insert in the middle of the one and nine because one is at zero nine is it is at one position but now in this position we want to add three so when i just insert this print or you'll see three has been inserted now in middle of one and nine so this is the way to just insert the element using this insert method next is to see our remove method delete method so let's see about that so first of all let's see our list so let's create the new list and i'll say one two this is our list so next thing is to just delete the list so i'll say i want to delete some part of the list some element of the list you can do that by using this my list and the slicing technique that we have studied i want to just delete from two to three so if i do that and if you say my list again you'll see that it has now one three four five five of two and three has been deleted so next thing you can also do is simply call delete and if you say delete my list whole list will be deleted and you'll see this my list is not defined because we have just deleted our my list completely from here so next thing is you can also make use of the remove method in order to delete some element of the list so let me create my list again and here i'll say a b c and d are the element of the list and if you want to remove you have to call my list again and just add the remove method so when i just remove let me say i want to remove a c from here and if i just print again my list you'll see c has been removed from your list you can also do same tax using the pop method so you can see that my list and dot pop pop method is of the list and you have to pass the index in this pop method so when i just say one one is the position for this b so b has been popped out that means element has been popped out from this list so if you just do something like my list dot pop it is going to give us 
as a default the last element of the my list which is in this case the pop that means it is going to get the last index which is minus one index if default value is passed or nothing value is passed in the pop method it is going to get us the last element of the list so these are the couple of functions which are important functions of the python list so we have couple of lectures to learn about the data structures in the upcoming lecture we have seen bunch of the method like insert like pop method and remove insert append every method which is important in the list you can also take a look on this len method which is going to give us the length of the list and this is the one because we have just popped out every element only my list has the one element which is a so it is going to give us the length of the list as a one so these are the couple of functions we have learned in this lecture in the next couple of lecture we will also see about the more advanced data structure see you in the next one